Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is not going to be a motor vlog or a ride story. Today I'm going to do the unboxing of my new vlogging lens, the Canon EFS 10-22mm wide lens. started with the unboxing my unboxing knife and a package from Amazon so I ordered this lens from Amazon and this uh, is one of the cheapest wide lens that your money can buy let's just go ahead and get the unboxing done um, and this is the actual box in which uh, the lens comes in so it's an EFS lens which means it's made for APS-C cameras it's 10 to 18 mm f 4.5 to 5.6 IS STM IS is for image stabilization and uh, STM is something to do with the autofocus so I'm not worried about that and uh, so since the aperture uh, range is f 4.5 to 5.6 which means uh, it's it's not gonna perform great in low light but it will give me decent results and that's what I want uh, now let's have a look inside the box uh, it's got the instructions manual and the actual lens that comes inside a bubble wrap So this is the lens. EFS 10 to 18 mm image stabilized. It has uh, we can switch off switch to autofocus and manual focus, and we can switch on and off the image stabilization. The reason behind me buying uh, this lens was. Uh, I am currently using the 1855 kit kit lens. It's a great lens, but uh, uh, when I'm vlogging with the camera in my hands, uh, it it gives a tight frame, so it zoom is it it actually zooms onto your face. And with this uh, wide angle lens, um, it gives more room and uh, and a lot in the background gets captured into the video, and it gives awesome results. Now let's just do a comparison of the actual video. So this is being recorded with the 1855mm kit lens and I am standing almost at a distance of uh, 3 feet from the camera. I'm gonna move closer, 2 feet. I'm gonna move closer. Now I am like um, around uh, less than a feet away from the camera and this is what gets captured. Now I'm gonna change the lens to the 10-18 wide lens and let's see how this works. So this is the wide lens and I'm standing at a distance of 3 feet from the camera, 2 feet, less than a feet. So if you, if you have noticed, this camera captures a lot more than the kit lens. And that's the exact reason why I went for this lens and I am just in love with this lens. The effect that this lens gives is outstanding and it's beautiful. So now, from now on, I'm gonna use this lens for all my vlogging videos. Now let's get to the second part of this video. The second part of the video, I'm gonna show you um, the new update made by Google on the Google Maps, which is a boon for all the riders. If I take an example of Hyderabad, so there's an outer ring road, uh, which takes you to other all the major uh, cities and states around Hyderabad. But the thing is, only four wheelers are allowed on that ring road. No two wheelers are allowed. So this is, I know about this because I stay in Hyderabad. Also, I'm, I'm sure there must be other states and other cities as well where they have similar kind of thing. When you open up Google Maps, you will see an option for two-wheeler. So that's on the top for directions, get directions, two-wheeler. So I just click on that two-wheeler and I put my destination. As an example, I have put from my location to Bangalore. So it gives me a time of 7 hours and 20 minutes. And if we go towards the route preview, so you will see that it is not taking through the outer ring road. So it's taking the inner ring road and then going to the 
state highway so that's one uh, so that's one big advantage with this new update i still remember um, when i have to go out of state and i have to uh, go to the route options and select uh, avoid avoid uh, toll roads so with this what it used to do is it used to even avoid the toll roads on uh, the state highways and on the small highways that you see so that used to add up a lot of kilometers to our ride so with this update um, it's gonna change everything so, so that's all uh, we have for today's video if you like my video as usual please like subscribe and uh, keep riding see you guys bye bye